All right, so this Windows or uh, this video is going to be a little bit different from the other ones because there really is no set procedure. This will entirely be based on what your name is, what your initials are, or maybe what your instructor tells you to do. Um, so I'm having you do your initials um, in my class, and if you don't have this sheet in front of you uh, and you have not filled it out, then you need to stop this video, go find the sheet, and fill it out. Some tips for filling this out: you want to make sure. Uh, everything has to be inside this C shape. That's the work envelope. The machine cannot reach outside of its work envelope. Uh, so if it can't reach it, it can't write it. Uh, in this case, we're using the track tool point center to kind of draw something. Now we could have replaced that with a welding torch or some sort of cutting tip and cut this out of sheet metal or welded onto sheet metal or even just a paintbrush and we could have painted this or a marker or something like that. But anyways, um, so kind of a tip. If you're drawing your name, so, for example, if I'm doing uh, EL, uh, I can start here, go to here, go to here, kind of make my life really, really simple. If I take all of my uh, letters and try to get them as close to an a uh, intersection of an X and a Y grid mark, that'll just make things a little bit easier. Nothing wrong with having to kind of guess halfway. That's absolutely fine. Um, but... So what we're going to do with this exercise is you're going to try to do your name. So once you've got your name or your initials or a symbol um, on this, within this shape, again, it can't reach it. It's not going to work if it's outside the shape. So everything's inside the shape. Um, and then we're going to go over here and make some shapes. All right, so this is a new RoboCell setup, basically just the table. And we're going to turn on right here where it says Show Robot Path. And you can see that little pink color there. That's just going to track our movements. Um, so on my grid, let me bounce back and forth. I'm only going to show you a hypothetical because I don't have any arches in my names. In my name. Um, so if I'm going to go from, let's say, 200, uh, 0, x and y, 200, 0, uh, to 300, 0, I'd make a straight line. Now the way an arch is going to work is we're going to say go from here to here through point here. So if I go at 250, 100, it'll go up through that point and it'll go down. The computer figures out what arch fits in that space uh, and it makes that arch happen. So let me put those positions in. Um, we'll call it, let's expand. Um, position 1. So I said my X was 200. If I'm trying to make this arch, so I'm going to go 200. Um, my Y uh, was zero. My Y was zero. Um, my Z, um, I'm going to use what they have in the directions, which they tell you in the directions. Uh, to maintain a Z height of 20 millimeters. So I'll just put 20 in for the Z. Pitch negative 90, so we're going straight down, roll. All right, so I'll teach it that. All right, cool. So I want it to go to 300, zero. So it's going to go down that way. If it did that, it would make a straight line. We'll call that, uh, let's just call it point 0.2. So it's going to go 300, zero, same Z, same distance out of the table. And I'll teach that position. Now, because I want to make this an arch, I'm going to put in position three. Position three is going to be located about halfway in the middle. So we've got oopsies, position one. Uh, position one's at 200, so let's go 250. So we're halfway in the middle. So position three, it'll be at 250. I'm going to give it a Y so we can kind of define this arch. Uh, let me go Y of, uh, I'll do 50. Same Z height. All right, all that's good. Teach it. All right, so now up in the program window, I'll leave that tool closed, just doesn't matter for this exercise. Um, and I'm going to say go circular to do the arch. First, I got to get to my initial point. So I'm going to go to position one. I got to get there first. Then I'm going to go over to position two. But because I'm going circular, it's going to go via. Um, via is meaning 
through. So it's going to go through point 0.3. So go to point 0.2 through point 0.3. I'll go fast just so we can watch this quickly. All right. So let's see. I got a couple lines of code here. Go straight down because that's where position one was. Then it's going to go make a small little arch. All right. Now if I wanted to make the letter R, I could go up and then back and then go back up and then over. That would be an inefficient way of doing it. But all points are going to be, all of your initials, this is a very simplified look. It doesn't have to be very intricate with the curves, but mostly just straight lines and simple arches like this. Now, if I wanted to go the other way, I don't even, let me just uh, swap this up. All right, let me say I wanted to go arch the other way. So position three, I'm going to put it negative 50. So now when it does this same program, we can even have them. I'll leave that one there. Let's run the program. It'll go back to position one, and it's going to just arch around going the other way. So if I reran it from the beginning, it wouldn't have that first part. But it's just going through a different point. If that point was further away, it would make a more fuller circle. If I move that point closer, it's going to make less of a circle. So that's at negative 50. Let's change it to negative uh, 25. So it's not going to go quite as dramatic. Let's just have this, this guy go back and reset. So it's going to make another arch. It's just going to be slightly shallower, especially if you teach it the position first. OK, now it should now it should work. OK, there we go. All right, there we go. All right, shallower arch. If I make a bigger arch, it's going to make a bigger part of the circle. So let's go to 100. Uh, negative 100. Teach it. So don't make that mistake twice. All right. This is going to be kind of dramatic. So this is actually starting to look more like this, a circle, and it would just continue out from there. But there you can see when that point is very close to that line connecting them, and then the further away that line is, the more dramatic of a circle it gets. Um, so really that's all I can share with you about this one. Make sure you do complete this page first. Uh, when you're done, show me. I'll initial. Make sure you do your conclusion questions on a separate sheet of paper. Uh, and make sure that gets turned in. Thank you.